LinkedIn keeps rolling out new features, and today we have another one. This update is live event ads. Whether you're looking to boost awareness or have more viewers to whatever live event, webinar, panel that you may want to host on LinkedIn, we can now promote it with ads. We'll show you the few ways that you can either try to get early registrations or just have more people tune in while the live event is going on. And then, of course, we'll show you how to create a live event on LinkedIn. So let's jump in. You can see we are not in LinkedIn Campaign Manager. That is because before we can create the live event ads, we have to have an event in LinkedIn created first. So I'm logged in as an admin in our LinkedIn company page. This is the main dashboard you can see right here. So we need to go up to create and let's start creating an event. Just so I can move on, I'm gonna add a cover image. Okay, next for a live event on LinkedIn, of course we need to have it as online. For the event format, here's where we can choose a LinkedIn live event. Notice that we're streaming from a third party tool, but users can still watch it on LinkedIn. Next, name your event. While this is a real event that Michelle and I are gonna be speaking at, it's not gonna be streamed live. Just making this for the sake of the video, I need something to use. Go ahead and select your time zone, and then choose when the event is actually gonna happen. In our case, it's in the future. And this is gonna be beneficial for live events and we'll show you once we actually start creating the ad campaign. I forgot what day we're speaking, somewhere around here, and let's say we get an hour, fine. Now it's up to you if you wanna use a LinkedIn form. In order to do that, you have to include your privacy policy and we will see once we go through the campaign setup that we'll have a few options if we wanna really optimize for registrations or views when the event is going on. So your optimization goal might be set in stone if you're including this form. Next, we see a description. It is optional, but I'll paste one in here. And then you could choose your speakers. You just search up users. If they're on LinkedIn, we're attached to it. And then I'll click next. Fortunately, I'm gonna have to post this. They won't let me save this unless I post it to the company page. So let me share some thoughts. There we go. And I'll post it. Okay, we're good here. Now I wanna use ads to promote this live event. So let's head into Campaign Manager. I'm in LinkedIn Ads Campaign Manager. I'm already in a specific campaign group. So let's go ahead to create and start building our campaign. Now I know when I was building the actual event on our company page dashboard, I had the option for people to fill out a registration form. Now because of that, you may be thinking, oh, you can choose a lead generation campaign objective. That is not true. Because if you choose lead gen as a campaign objective, you cannot use the event ad format. Our options are going to be brand awareness, website visits, or engagement. Now in the announcement post for live event ads, LinkedIn recommend if you want to get pre-registration, LinkedIn mentioned if your goal is pre-registration, you should choose either brand awareness or website visits. This makes sense. Users won't be going to your website. They'll be going to the event page on LinkedIn. So it's still a landing page visit. If your goal is to drive more viewers, to your event while it's going on, they recommend choosing engagement as your campaign objective. So for now, I'm gonna stick with website visits, still love me some classic, and then click next. I created a specific campaign group for this campaign. Also one thing I should mention is that when you create a campaign group, you have the option to lock in an objective for the entire campaign group. Keep that in mind when you're building this type of campaign that you're not stuck with an objective that can't use live event ads. But I know I'm good, so I'm gonna click next, name the campaign, and since I selected classic, I gotta start over. Gonna choose website visits again, and then gonna scroll down. One thing this video is not going to do is talk about all the targeting options within LinkedIn. We have another video about that one. You can watch it here. But yes, I would update all of this stuff. Of course, make it permanent, not recent. Choose your targeting options. Here, I'm just picking one so we can move on. Never include expansion. And then here we see the ad format. We're going to want event. Keep scrolling down. Notice once you choose event, and this will happen no matter what objective you select, of course we're locked onto LinkedIn, but the audience network is automatically removed. Always a win. So choose your budget and schedule. Let's say I wanna run it now, but I want it to shut off right before the event. This one I'm gonna have a goal of trying to boost pre-registrations. If you choose the setting of trying to boost engagements while the live event is going on, then you'd probably wanna push heavy during the time of when the event is actually taking place. But we're good here, scrolling down to bidding. The optimization goal is trying to get as many clicks to the event page as possible where I can get users to register, add in any additional conversion tracking, and then we'll click next. Yep, don't wanna change anything. 
we'll save it. And here we can start creating a new ad. With event ads, we need the URL for the event. I already have the tab open, so let me just pull it, come back down. The preview is going to look like this. It is what it is, but you see the proper event title here. So we'll just name this ad, add some intro text. But what we see in the preview, even though the image isn't gonna change, are the options for live event ads. And this is all gonna be depending on what you've set as your ad schedule. So in my case, my ad schedule was set from now until right before the live event starts. So LinkedIn knows that based upon how I set up the event on the company page, that they're automatically gonna make my ads pre-event ads. The goal is to get as many registrations as possible. So in this preview, we see a register call to action where people can start responding directly from the ad. Once users RSVP to the ad, they will get notifications when the live event is going to go on. Now let's say I went back and changed my ad scheduling to run through the entire event. Well, once the event actually goes live, LinkedIn will automatically change your ads to the during event format. Not sure if you saw little updates here. See this green happening now, it's showing that it is live. So you can really try to push people to join and capture it on the moment while it's happening. And then the last one is post event. Message kind of goes back to what was there for the pre-event but you have the option to potentially show replays of it. Maybe if the audience comment and network after the event, or maybe you just wanna use this for retargeting after the event is live. So maybe you don't even launch a campaign until after the event occurs to potentially promote the replay. Or if you really have a large group of users who tuned in to the live event, create an audience from those users to have them see other content. So keep in mind, it's all just about when you're launching the campaign and when the ads are actually gonna run. We don't have to change anything here. This is all from a preview perspective. We're using the same event ads no matter what. So I'm going to just save the one. Don't worry about the no image. It's going to pull it from the event page, whatever I set up as that main banner image. But yes, of course, we would want to create other ad variants, testing out different intro text, and then I'll click next and then jump to the bottom. If everything looks good after you previewed it, launch your campaign. I understand nothing will run. I'm gonna pause this immediately after I'm done recording, so we're not gonna see any metrics here. But once your campaigns do start running, go ahead, adjust your columns to be whatever you wanna see. If you wanna look at engagement, if that's the objective that you selected, maybe just overall performance if you're focused on clicks, whatever it is, notice that there's a specific breakdown. Because of live event ads, we now have a new breakdown for event stage. But since we're not running anything, we have no metrics to show to break down, I'm going to show you the image provided by LinkedIn's marketing blog. You can see here, you'll be able to break down the metrics by the different stages of your live event campaign. You'll be able to look at the numbers for pre-event, during the event, and post-event to measure the effectiveness of these ads in each of the event stage. Hopefully this will give you the information you need to let you know if this campaign type is successful for your brand or company. But that's how easy it is to create a live event on LinkedIn and promote it with ads. I know this was a higher level overview, but we just wanted to introduce this newer feature. If you have any other questions about live event ads, please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.